Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. After uploading the FTP video last night, I realized that the way several people will probably want to run it is having a unique FTP login account for each device that's going to, say, copy its config on a daily basis, uh, have a way of getting access to the code from that device, because at least with the Cisco devices, you can hard code the account that a specific device will use. So I thought I would take just a few minutes here and show you the way that I've found to do it. And there's several different ways out there. It's not any one right way or there's no wrong way. It's as long as you can get the account created. So what we will do is I'm gonna go ahead and shift back to the home account that I normally use a root account, I should say. And then what we'll go through to do is everything that, that I've just gotten myself conditioned to doing with Raspberry Pi is I always preface with the sudo command. So anything that, you know, administrative nature that way, you know, I just, I'm just trying to get my kind of my own set of best practices. So we'll first go through and we'll create an account. And there's several different accounts. This one I found is the way to go. So we'll just type this one, call this one router. And it'll take it just a second here to run, and then we'll make the home directory. And then we've got to assign rights to that. So we'll do sudo chown router colon users, and that assigns that account to the users group, and then we'll say home router. And then we also need to go ahead and set a password. And you will be prompted twice to enter in the password. Okay, now it's set it up. So we'll test this against the FTP server that we've already got running. So 192.168.15.62. We'll call it router. And then the password was Cisco123. Or maybe it wasn't because obviously I didn't we'll go back here and try as router 123 I should have written it down but this validates okay so you can see that you, know, you use the right password and you can log in so we're seeing already here that it displays the home directory and just to make sure that we've got the rights assigned we will drag over one file here and you can see it's already copied over so that's all there is to it you know this is a basic user account ftp server accepted it we've got rights because we could copy into the directory so that's it it's really not uh not a big deal to create it so hopefully as you go to set up other accounts for the ftp server or for whatever reason you would want to this is just a very simple way you know there's no reason why you couldn't even script this to a degree to, to make it easy but i hope this has been a help to you thank you for your time in viewing this video and reading the accompanying post on my website if there's anything that you would like to see me run through the paces on to help you become more comfortable with your raspberry pi please visit my website at www.ronnutter.com and you can contact me and send me an email through there and I'll be glad to do whatever I can for you. Thank you again for your time.